As everybody knows, I love throwing crankbaits, I love throwing jerkbaits, but there's an important fact you have to take into account before you ever fish one of these things, and that's tuning the bait. I wanna show you the proper way to tune a bait and what to look for while you're tuning this bait. Okay, so why is it important to have a properly tuned crankbait? Well, for a few reasons. One, they run deeper. Two, they track true at faster speeds. And three, which most people overlook entirely, is that a crankbait will come through wood and cover way better when it's properly tuned. So now let's dissect the crankbait. We're gonna look at the pull point or line tie, whatever you wanna call it, and we're gonna look at the differences between these. Some of them will be fatter, some of them will be thinner. Some of them will be on top of the bill, some will be recessed in the bill. Some of them will even meet where the bill meets the front of the bait. And on jerk baits, some of them are in the nose of the crankbait. This is all important when tuning a bait. Okay, so when tuning a crankbait, here's a, here's a really common mistake that I see often. Guys will chuck the bait out in front of the boat, they'll hold the rod in their hand and they pull it and sweep it and they see if it runs out or runs in. Okay, this is okay, but it's actually incorrect because what happens is you're changing the line angle on your crankbait because you're so short and you're pulling it across your body without a lot of line in it. You're not letting that crankbait actually do what it's gonna do. So here's the best way to do it. What I like to do is I, I have my rod in position and I cast straight out and point my rod tip directly at the crankbait, keeping the rod tip low to the water. And then I reel the crankbait in. Now, the, it's, if it rolls to the right or rolls to the left, I'll be able to tell even if it's slightly off tune because you're casting out about 15 feet you're gonna reel it in, and you're gonna reel it in at a decent speed. You're not gonna burn it in. You're just gonna reel it in normally, and if it starts to track one way or the other, this is the best way to find out. So now, let's go through, I wanna go through each of the line tie positions and show you how to tune each one of those with maximum efficiency so they stay tuned for you longer. First bait I wanna go over is the nose tie. Typical jerk bait, a lot of them have them right on the nose. Even some crankbaits have them right on the nose. Now this is an important thing to remember. Anytime you have a line tie on the nose of your bait, it's very sensitive to tuning. You don't wanna over tune it. So what I like to do, if the bait's running to the right, we're gonna move the line tie just a little bit the opposite way, so to the left. Now what I, what, with, a, with a rogues, I can do it with my thumb, but you don't have to. So I'll put my pliers so they're perfectly parallel to the bait, just like that. And then I'll just bump the bait a little bit. Then I'll cast it back out, reel it in until I have it tuned. What, I don't, what you don't wanna do is move it too far, too fast. That's over tuning. It weakens everything. Same thing on the crankbait, nose hook crankbait, same thing, you're gonna go straight to the bait and you're gonna move left or right. And not, ex not a lot, very little, these are very sensitive. Okay, the next pull point we're gonna discuss is a recessed, where it's recessed into the bill. Now, look at this thing, because what happens is a lot of the recessed ones are thicker and they're deeper in. So this will require a little more strength to tune it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it this way. So I'm perfectly perpendicular to the bill. And I'm gonna move left or right, depending. If the bait runs to the right, you move it to the left. If the bait runs to the left, you move it to the right. Any recess is very strong. So you'll need a little bit more force, but not too much because you don't wanna over tune them all the time. The next we're gonna get to is flat on top of the bill, no recess. Normans, Normans have these. There's no recess in them. And these are very, very easy to tune. Just like the nose tie, 
This is really sensitive. Again, I'm gonna make sure that I'm totally perpendicular to the bill. A little nudge one way or a little nudge the other way, depending on how your bait's running. And this, and it'll do the trick. And you don't need a lot on the on flat bills. You don't need a lot. Other thing I want to discuss is where the line tie actually from the nose meets the bill. So the line tie looks like it's in the nose and it's on the bill right up against it. You treat this one just like you would a nose line tie where you're holding it perpendicular to the bait. Don't do it this way because you're twisting it. That's the improper way. You want, anytime the line tie is touching the nose and the bill, you want to be perpendicular to the bait. Same thing, little movement one way, little movement the other way, depending on which way it's running for you. These will tune them up perfectly. They'll stay tuned much longer. Sometimes when you snag a bait and you're beating on it to try and get it out, it'll untune. Sometimes if you're pounding the fish and you're catching them one right after the other, the fight of the fish pulling and changing direction could untune a bait. So you always wanna check it. There is a cool trick to untune a crankbait. Like you can untune a square bill so it runs a little bit to the left. And you're like, well, why? You just told me everything we have to do is to make a track straight. Well, if you're fishing docks, for example, if you tune one to the left, it'll run underneath the docks. It'll go around the dock poles. Or if you're fishing a retaining wall, you can have it so it's going down and banging into the retaining wall because you got it untuned. Now notice I said square bills. This works with shallow crankbaits. Deep diving crankbaits will go way out because you're making long casts, they'll go way out and you may not hit your object. So make sure they're tuned, just some tricks to make sure that your crankbaits are running properly.